the Henry Dorley Legacy Award is a very appropriate way to recognize all the work that has been able to happen within the hospital because of Dr. C.C. and Mabel Chris and the Chris Foundation. Dr. C.C. And, and Mabel Chris, going back to the early 1900s, have always had an interest in medicine and the well-being of fellow mankind and just really that love of, of health care and making life better for for people and, and especially in the case of children's for the young children that we serve. I first remember Dr. Chris in about 1947 had a severe stroke. Mabel Chris, he was always very pleasant, sort of a very elegant lady, extremely kind. She was probably the first woman executive of any significance in the Midwest. The foundation started in 1978, but there was really another member of the Chris family who made a significant contribution to children's. Neil Chris, Dr. C.C. Chris's younger brother, children's as the recipient of most, if not all, of his estate. They were charitable. That just was their nature, and I think that this is their legacy. The mission of the Chris Foundation is to simply do as much good for the Omaha community as possible and to do it in a way that Dr. and Mrs. Chris would have wanted. The Chris Foundation has supported children's in many ways over the years. Uh, they contributed to the first Rainbow House. Uh, they've been involved in a couple different cath lab expansions uh, and various other new facilities and surgical suites throughout the hospital. The Specialty Pediatric Center and the Chris Hart Center are just a few examples and they continue to be very strong supporters of children in many other ways. I think the Chris has inspired me because more than four decades ago they had a vision for what they knew they could contribute to the Omaha community long after they were gone. And they cared so deeply about the community and the people in this community and the community that gave so much to them. My hope is people are in the hospital and they see the names Dr. C.C. and Mabel Chris, that they truly understand that these are two individuals that had great vision for the needs, not of that particular point in time, but in the future for children and the care that they will need. I think they would be deeply honored. I think they would be humbled. And I think Dr. and Mrs. Chris would want the spotlight to be on the professionals, the volunteers, the other donors, the entire community of people who make children such a special place.